Hey, this is Tyler with MSI Supply, and today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about flanges. If you've ever caught yourself wondering what a flange is, or how might I buy one for my job, well, you've caught yourself in the right place. Today I'm going to be going over a little bit about the functionality of a flange, and also how you can buy one from MSI Supply. The first thing we'll need to know is the size of your flange. Flange size will coincide directly with the nominal pipe size. For instance, if you have a six inch pipe, you're gonna have a six inch flange. That's true all the way up to 24 inch. Once you get to 24 inches, you're gonna either need to state whether it's type A or type B. Type A flange is generally gonna have less bolt holes and not be as thick as a type B flange. A type B flange is also a little harder to find and will generally be more expensive. The next information we'll need to know is your connection type. First connection type is referred to as a weld neck. This is gonna be your most common type of flange and it's also gonna be your most structural sound. When you let us know if it's a weld neck, you're also gonna to need to state whether it has which bore size it will require. The bore size will match the pipe exactly. If you have an extra heavy pipe, you're gonna have an extra heavy flange. The end of the weld neck will be butted up to the end of the pipe and will be welded around. The next type is a socket weld flange. A socket weld is the only other type of flange that will require a bore size. As you can see, there's a lip in here and the pipe will go in and you will weld around this area and creates a secure connection. The next type looks very familiar to a socket weld, but is referred to as a slip-on flange. As you can see, there's no lip, and it will slip over the entire flange and be welded around. The next flange is a threaded flange. Just like its name, it has threads on the inside and will easily be threaded onto the pipe, which will also have threads. This flange is the most easy to install and disinstall. The next flange is a blind flange. This flange um, has no hole for media to go through and you generally use to blank off or stop whatever media is going through the pipeline. And then last but not least is a lap joint flange. This also looks similar to a slip-on flange but will be used in conjunction with a stub end. The stub end goes through here and this will be loose behind it. All right, the next piece of information we'll need to know is the pressure rating. Pressure rating generally starts out at 150 pounds and will go up to 300, 600, 900, and so on and so forth. The pressure rating will tell us a few things about your flange. It will tell us the amount of stud bolt holes that you will have, and also it will tell us the stud size that will be required. It will also tell us, um, as pressure rating goes up, the thickness of the flange will increase and also the strength and the surface type will also increase. After we know our pressure rating, we will need to know the face type of your flange. There's three different types of face types that will be required. We'll need to know if it's raised face, flat faced, or ring type. You can see here that this is a ring type. Raised face will have a raised face here, and then flat type will have nothing but a flat edge. After we know the face type, we can go directly into one of the most important pieces, which is the material type. A flange can be made out of virtually any material, but the most common will be stainless steel in 304 and 316, and also A105 carbon steel. And then last but not least, if you have any type of country restrictions or approved manufacturer list, that will, information will also need to be provided. Now some common mistakes that we generally see when getting inquiries for flanges is customers usually don't know or provide a schedule when one is not needed. For instance, a customer might, might want a weld neck flange but not provide a schedule, or they might want a blind flange and provide us with a schedule. We would just need to clarify the information to make sure it's correct. Another misconception is, like I had mentioned earlier, when you get up above 24 inches, you need to state whether it's type A or type B because that will be extremely important. Here at MSI Supply, we keep a healthy stock of carbon steel and stainless steel flanges, and we have the capabilities to meet any needs you may require for your job. If you have any questions, we would be glad to answer those, and we would be glad to help you with any inquiry you may have. Give us a call here at MSI Supply.